children of God. God has blessed this church. Yes, he has, because we try to take care of the ministers of God when they come through to the best of our ability. <laughs> Sometimes I say, Lord, I wish we could do more. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it ain't always where we can do like we want to do. But I tell you what, God always makes a way. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Last night I was in prayer. And the Lord showed me. This is the second visitation he's given me in three days. Hallelujah. I'm going to share the first one first. Hallelujah. When I was in prayer, I go to prayer every day. I teach prayer every day. Because <laughs> I believe in it. I'm telling you, children of God, that's where your strength is. With that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, I was there praying and I was just meditating upon the Lord. And and I saw water just everywhere. Everywhere you could look. And I seen it on towns and in these towns it was up to house roof tops and and then I saw it again and then it was up to almost treetop level. I said, Oh God have mercy, Lord upon us, Father. But I tell you what, children of God, we have not seen the end of what is coming across this land. And I tell you what, such troublesome times is ahead of you. And God is wanting us to prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. First of all, get hid in Christ Jesus. And then he wants you to prepare as much as possible in the natural. And the Lord told me, he said, my children need to store up water. Hallelujah. Because he said, when these destructions come here, he said, the water ain't going to be fit to drink. Hallelujah. And now you need to start storing up water. You need to be trying to store you up at least six months and more of food. Because children of God, this thing is just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. I'm not telling you that to make you fearful of heart. Jesus said, Did be not fearful of heart in these times. Because your eyes are upon Jesus Christ. You keep them there. And you trust in Him. And He will take you through this thing. And I tell you what, if we go by the way of the grave, hallelujah, it just carries us that much quicker to heaven. Hallelujah. To be with our Lord. I don't know any better place than I'd rather be with my Jesus. There are all kinds of devastation that's going to come forth. Whirlwinds, earthquakes, hurricanes, all weather patterns. You know back in December 2009, the prophecy that come forth here for 2010 and 2011, and you have seen that come to pass. You're going to see it keep coming to pass. But the Lord showed me such great destruction. Not just on this nation, but many nations. And I saw the Statue of Liberty. There was much trouble, much devastation here in this country. And I saw st the Statue of Liberty. She had weep. She was weeping. She had tears coming down her eyes. And I saw her. She was holding the statue. And she fell to her knees like that. And she started weeping before the Lord. Hallelujah. And I tell you what. I pray that that is the outcome that will come for our nation. Oh, hallelujah. But the Lord showed me another outcome. If the children of God don't humble themselves. Oh, God. Oh, oh.
and she was almost completely covered in water. The only thing I saw sticking out was part of her crown and this much of her eye and that arm sticking up like that. I said, God have mercy, Lord. God send this revival, God. <laughs> Turn this nation around, Lord. <laughs> Holy Lamb, Holy Lamb! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! Turn of God, get woke up! Don't be asleep! Hallelujah! Seek the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind! It's time to get woke up! And you can see for yourself, you don't see this thing getting better! You don't see it getting better! Even the people out in the world that don't even dock the church door, they are saying, oh my goodness, what is upon us? But I'm telling you what, God is trying to shake a nation and get her woke up and get her back down on her knees. And the Lord visited me again last night. And I saw such a big, dark tornado wind. And it come with such force. And it was in, started in this most beautiful field of wheat. And it was standing almost hip high. And I saw that tornado as it tore down through that field. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, what are you showing me, Father? And I tell you what, the Lord told me it had a twofold meaning. It's the storms, hallelujah, that's going across this land. And the wars that's all across the nations. People are not going to be able to grow and produce fruit, hallelujah, from their fields like they have in the past. And I tell you what, food shortages are going to be coming nigh at your door. I'm telling you, children of God, to help you, to help you. The shortages is nigh at your door. Hallelujah, you're going to be seeing it before this year is out. You're going to be seeing it, children of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you to prepare. Get ready. In the spirit first and then in the natural. And if you're prepared for what's coming, it won't be as hard on you. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that God won't take us through this thing because he will. Hallelujah. But the other meaning was a, such a great persecution coming upon the church. There is famine in the land that's headed our way. But I tell you what, there's a great persecution like we had never seen. And I spoke and I told them, I said, the government in our own nation is fixing to be heavy-handed upon the church. And I'm telling you, children of God, but you look back in the book of Acts uh, and you can see uh, where great persecution brought forth revival. And I tell you what, that's what's going to bring forth revival in this hour, just like Brother Jackson was preaching. And I tell you what, children of God, get on fire for God and let him make you that flame to go forth in this end time with his word. I'm fixing to close. Hallelujah. Oh, I appreciate this revival. Appreciate this revival. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Acts, Paul started preaching in the morning time. <laughs> Preached up to midnight. A man fell out of the rafters. <laughs> and he lost his life there. And Paul quit preaching long enough to go over there and bring him back to life. Did that man get up and say, well, I'm ready to go home. He got steady, he crawled back up there in those rivers. Hallelujah, the Bible says that he preached to them to daylight. Hallelujah. Brother, I tell you what, you sit there and preach as long as you want to. I'm going to stand there and say, yes, brother. Amen. You go ahead. Hallelujah. I love him. Oh, I thank God for sending this messenger our way. Because I tell you what, God is good to us. Oh, I love him. Sister Pam, you can come in.